Now, I hope I could help you understanding event sourcing and event-driven architectures better. You can look at the project that I showed you, it's on GitHub, so-called Scalable Coffee Shop, and showcase how to integrate um, Kafka with uh, Java EE. And now a final word on event sourcing and event-driven. I hope you got the idea that event sourcing and event-driven, though they are related, can be applied separately. You can apply event sourcing without needing an event-driven architecture. If you do not need to scale that much and you still get all the benefits of an event source system. And as always, in, in real world, and this is why I'm saying that, you have to be reasonable of what to apply and not to over-engineer. So if there is no reason to do event-driven architectures or even to do microservices and split up your application and needing to scale them and fire up many instances, if there is no need, if you don't need that much scalability. So as always, try to be reasonable, try to be as simple as possible and do stress tests whether your applications are sufficient for the use cases and for the scalability you need. And maybe, and I guarantee that in most of the cases, you're totally fine with a monolithic approach of a not too large application, but deployed in a monolithic fashion. But still, then you could apply all the goodness of an event source system. But still, um, I hope you got the idea of event-driven architectures of CQRS that you also don't necessarily need DDD, domain-driven design and in, in terms of the names that you take aggregates as they're normally um, applied as the self-managed objects with their internal state representation and their own event handling rather than you just need to match the concepts of what we need in a CQRS and event-driven architecture of the framework you're choosing. For example, Java Enterprise with that approach, in my case with CDI events and so on and so forth. So I hoped I could help you understanding this topic better and thanks a lot, a lot for watching. Bye.